unauthorized shouting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, trying not okay. to shout. Thank you. <laughs> and okay. So, okay. I started the stream. In a few seconds, it's also going to be online. But just going to take right, a excellent. look at the two of us. Ooh, All right, so... so uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the off, right? Um, but but he eats flesh, so that's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, I, I love the detail that the elves eat flesh to um, kind of get the memories of their ancestors or other people. Yeah, it's quite freaky. <laughs> Freaky elves is, is a good thing. So, um, hello stream, the first people are in the chat room right now. Uh, we're going to play a little bit of Divinity Original Sin 2 with Farhang Namdar, who's been lead designer not only on this Divinity game, but you've been with the Divinity series uh, right from the start or from the second game? Uh, from the second game, actually. From the second game, Echo Draconis. Yep, or yep. Which yep. Yeah. yep. It's okay. been a while. Yes, if you've been you've been with Larian for a long time now, and working yeah. on this series. So, when Larian started planning for Original Sin 2, what was kind of, as your job as the lead designer, the first thing you said, um, uh, this is something you were going to do, these are the changes that we're going to do compared to the first one. Well, basically, um, Sven's our creative director, he's also the CEO, right? So, mm -hmm. basically, he's uh, he's got a lot of experience with uh, you know our audience and what they really like so basically as we were finishing off uh, enhanced edition um, for the consoles uh, he was already thinking about what new stuff he was going to put in the new game and uh, uh, what changes we needed we had a lot of player feedback and stuff like that as well so uh, basically um, he started the groundwork and then uh, three four months later when all the loose ends are tied on the other products then you start rolling in and then uh, yeah go through everything, see what's possible, what is impossible, what we have time for, what not. Because we're doing quite some, you know, like, new stuff that haven't been done before, like the cooperative, uh, um, cooperative slash competitive uh, multiplayer that we have going, so that's mm -hmm. also, like, something new that... Uh, so these are all uncharted terrain, and you just have to try them out before you can actually... Uh, you know, you can theory craft a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes things in reality just work better uh, than you would expect, and the other way around, so that's why. Okay. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing around with the game for a little bit today, and um, the combat system is very mm -hmm. much like in, in Original Sin 1, just with more, kind of. And I've read that there's a lot more of combinations that you can get, because there's also like, um, you can also kind of get things to be holy or demonic. So yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So basically, we, we, you know, because the surface interactions we had going, they were actually pretty, uh, pretty clear to people. Um, and uh, we noticed that actually keeping the same clarity would be fantastic. And if we just could add variations to it by, uh, you know, two, three different, uh, um, you know, states that the uh, surfaces could be in and the elements could be in, then we could do a lot more. So uh, basically we had a lot of surfaces and now there's uh, all the surfaces have a cursed uh, variation, they have a blessed variation. Um, blood has been added to surface, blood cloud. So there's been a lot of these, uh, you know, additional... Uh, Details added to it. Yeah, I saw I saw that. a spell where you can suck up um, the blood on the ground around you to heal yourself. That, that is correct. That's the leech uh, uh, talent, which is uh, a fantastic one. It's really good, uh, but you got to make sure that uh, you know everybody's bleeding all around, and not yeah. everybody bleeds blood, of course. Yeah. Okay. I've I've talked to the, I've been talking to this weird child over here. He's got the same kind of color. Sweet. Too little Tam. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the the story with the colors is basically that. Um, you know, we're sorcerers. They've put these collars around our necks, and we're, had, uh, we're here at this colony where they banish all the uh, sorcerers to, and this collar uh, actually stops us from using uh, source magic, which is uh, fantastic magic, but uh, you'll discover that later uh, in the playthrough. I, I, I guess I'm gonna, gonna get rid of the collar at some time, because no source magic. Mm. Source magic, uh, big thing for the, for kind of the big thing for the Divinity series for the time. But now with the original sin, we're going back in time compared to the very original uh, Divine Divinity and sorcerers are yeah. evil. Or at least people that don't trust correct. them. Okay, but we still can uh, cast spells. 
Um, yeah, that's true. So our normal true. spells are just magic, but the source magic is like crazy magic. And it's really cool. If you play the arena mode, you'll see that uh, uh, because the arena mode obviously has the source uh, uh, skills introduced. You can see that there's a lot of uh, uh, cool stuff there that you can do with source uh, points. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm going to give you some gloves. I just found a bunch of gloves. You found gloves? Oh, you're in combat already. You're in combat. Yeah, Great. I, I, just, I just decided to have, have some rain. Just okay, that's rain. nice. And um, to show the people you see here, some hey, the the water. There's water, and I yeah. can electrify the water. Check that. Oh. oh, no, it's gone. Yeah, you evaporated yeah. it. Or it vapped. Oh, but we can't do it with these guys. Um, yeah, let's do it with their some void walking over here. Yeah, by the, the way, if you press shift, tricks. shift. If you press shift, you can uh -huh. uh, viewing angles. Okay. So the cool thing is, once you step in, it will start. If you press C, you go into sneak mode, and then you can literally see the angle that they're viewing in. Ha! Sneak mode. I love that about uh, <laughs> the little bush. Yeah. yeah. I love that about uh, original sin. Uh, the first red two that kind of depending where you are you're you're hiding in a barrel or in a bush. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cute little oh, no. Okay, ah, they saw me. in combat I'm I'm gonna join you and help you out. Okay. Okay, excellent. now we're in combat mode and it's going round after round. Uh we've oh, we've already got some wear sheep in our chat, so bar from Oh really? Wear sheep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <They don't laughs> Wherever Larian pops up, there's wear sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Never takes long. So okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I have a, a staff that does elemental damage, it, mm -hmm. um, air elemental damage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to electrify the blood puddle that they're standing in. Yeah. That's a cool uh, starter. Um, if you hover over them, uh, you can see that they only have a health bar, right? Mm -hmm. uh, normally, a uh, new combat mechanic that has been introduced in this game that you'll see a little bit down the road is that uh, you can have magical or physical armor as well. Okay. And magical armor protects you from elemental damage and stuff like that. And basically, it's like a, a proto shield. You need to take down the magic armor first before you start mm -hmm. damaging uh, the real health bar. Okay. Okay, as you can see, uh, they were both of them slightly outside the puddle, so they're not electrified. They're not electrified. But okay. uh, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to shoot a uh, uh, searing daggers that's probably going to evaporate the electrified blood and create an electrified blood cloud. Let's see if that happens. Oh, yes. We have a little cloud there that's electrified. Mm -hmm. I see, and I could, um, I've got a spell that creates an oil surface. going to see if that's big enough to connect to the fire. But actually, they're on fire. If you cast yeah, it on them, they'll on explode. There is just yeah. watch out if you're going to blow me <laughs> I'm up. Going with to, it. I'm going to be part of the explosion too. Yeah, because there is friendly <laughs> fire, <laughs> literally. Yeah, I'm also looking forward to um, to the arena where you can the arena mode where you can just play against your co-op partners and yeah. just try and see what. Ooh, I've been bleeding a lot. This is uh... <laughs> such a small elf. So much blood. <laughs> okay. Bang! Mm. Perfect. Explosion cloud. Nice. Okay, now you can finish her off. Yeah. Alright, excellent. Then I'm going to use some water to clear it up. Right. Oh, Let's nice. clear up the rain. I found oh, some yeah, and gold we have inside the part. voidling. Oh, really? Lucky you. Oh, God, no. No. Stay out of the water. What happened there? Stay out of the water. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, so these void creatures, right? When they yeah. get hit, they uh, bleed uh, cursed, uh, cursed water. Okay, ah. and this cursed water that they were bleeding actually made contact with the normal water, and that's why it spread everywhere. Okay. But uh, luckily, after uh, three turns, which equals, I think, sixteen seconds, it disappears. Or nine seconds. I think every turn is three seconds. Don't quote me on this. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but we have an exclamation mark above our head, so yeah. we can talk to each other talk if you want. <clears throat> okay, so grimace at the dead creatures and suggest that these must have been what attacked your ship. And uh, I can say, uh, I can nod and say, "Good riddance." Uh, say that you want to get out of here before any more of these things show up, or I can shrug and say, "They're just animals." So the Ex the mechanic where you can kind of get uh, emotionally cold or or helpful yeah. and all these um, antonyms is still in place. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so I'll just say, they're just animals. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> mm. 
I say this was too easy. That's possible. That's possible. And now I'm going to rob the dead guy on the beach. A healing potion. Please. Yeah, I, I already uh, kind of uh, thought that there's a lot more healing potions at the start of this game than in the first original sin where I was always hunting for healing potions. <laughs> trying not to die. Yeah, it's true. The, the thing it's just out in early access, so um, the fights are hard. You're going to need your resurrection scrolls and you're going to need your potions as well. But it's always like this, uh, how do you call it? You, you, you have to play around with it, right? Like bit by bit you'll notice uh, if it's too much or too little or uh, you start tweaking it a bit more. Oh! Uh, press your alt button. You see a sharp rock on the ground? Sharp rock, yeah. Yeah, could you pick... Uh, hold on, I'm gonna go get a stick and then give you the stick. Oh, and then we can craft weapons and start crafting. Uh, people in the chat are asking if this is a new or an improved engine. Oh, someone's already said it's an improved engine, so it's kind of the, it's the next generation after the one for... Um, yeah, 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 that's true. I mean, we, we made a lot of additions to... Um, to the engine, of course, like stuff that we really needed. Um, also stuff that's, I mean, there's PBR lighting in there, there's uh, uh, cloth simulation, all this stuff. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a lot better. I mean, also the lighting and the quality of the lighting, the detail of the characters and stuff. Uh, there's a lot more we can do. Yeah, um, someone in the chat is also, also asking if I'm playing an elf. Yes, I'm playing an elf. This is Sibyl. And unlike the first of the original Sin games, there are characters with backgrounds, so more, more of a background. You can choose four different characters right now. Or That's you can correct. make your, your entirely new one, of course. But yeah. there's a bit more to those characters than in the first game. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm just going to give you a wooden stick. Don't forget to wear your gloves. <laughs> Sound oh, like yeah. your mom. <laughs> it's cold <laughs> outside, don't gloves. forget. <laughs> yep. Um, thanks for the wooden stick. I'm going to combine it with the sharp rock. Okay, how do I com combine with? Uh, basically, you right click yeah. and then you open the combine interface. Okay, combine. And I get I get a makeshift axe. Awesome. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Um, but what class are you? I think we're both. I'm, uh, I'm a wizard. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, you're going to have to start using that classless uh, system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, right. You can choose a class or you can kind of craft your own class and just... And it's really funny because, um, like, the previous game used to be a lot less forgiving if you invested the wrong points. Because, yeah. you know, my own brother, like, uh, uh, replayed the game three times before he... Uh, you know, first time was after 20 hours, the second time was after 30, 40 hours, and then, like, the last time he finished it. Um, but this time, actually, it's, it's, it's quite okay if you... You know, if you have a companion that you want to change uh, uh, drastically to another uh, angle, you can do that. It just takes about one and a half, two levels. To, uh. Uh, okay. Oh, here's here's the Red Prince, who would have been one of the other characters that we could choose. Um, just a second, people are asking me to kind of up my sound. Trying to do that. Okay, so hopefully it's better now. Okay, so the Red Prince is standing here. We could have played him. Mm -hmm. I love the design of the lizard man <laughs> with the long That's neck. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, he seems a little bit haughty. But he's a prince, you know. Yeah. And when he's the only red lizard man in the world, he's a very special snowflake. That is correct. Okay, we can um, probably. I'm going to click through this a little bit faster. Mm. Sorry for that. We could kind of also get him to join our party, right? Yes, we can. Uh, we should, actually. So, oh, uh, also very that interesting. That was nice uh, enough, ob obviously. Yeah, so the thing is also like, uh, okay, you're Sybil, right? And the thing is, you were enslaved your entire life by lizards. So, basically, uh, from the start, you actually have a conflict with her. So, if you take ah. the time to read that dialogue and stuff, you'll notice that when you use her tags, 
uh, because like our dialog system has uh, tags now, right? We didn't have mm -hmm. that in original Sin. And the cool thing is you can say things that are specific to your origin or to your character or to your um, uh, profession or to your race. And the funny thing is, because you used to be a slave uh, of lizards, there's actually this conflict. So if you go down the tagline, you could actually get into a fight with him, and then you would actually kill a companion, that uh, a potential Ooh. companion of the game, within the first five minutes. Ouch. How edgy is that? That's right. <laughs> but uh, ask ask him to join us. Shall I talk to him? I'll ask him to join us. Yeah, try and yeah, try and talk him into joining us. Yeah, oh, people are asking if um, how the story relates to the first part. This is a few hundred years after the first part, right? Uh, yeah, it's about a thousand years after it. So, uh, okay. uh, it, the relations with the stories with each other, basically it continues the path of the source, but uh, apart from that, you'll have to <laughs> see the full game. There are quite some stuff that relate, but we can't disclose those yet. Okay, I understand. So, somewhere around here, there's the next scene or in the next oh the cat the cat a, a cat yes oh wait a second somebody joined our game <laughs> how did that happen well basically your connectivity is probably over yeah, yeah. O okay i i, I uh, switched it to just friends and very few of my friends on steam should have this game already <laughs> so <laughs> this is probably one of my ex-colleagues weird Okay. okay, that's cool, but uh, okay, ask the Red Prince to come along. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is alri someone's already saying we should shoot the cat just in case it's Arhu reincarnated. Why? Why? <laughs> cat. Okay, I can't dig. The lizard can dig, right? Yeah, hold on. I'll um, I'll grab the lizard and assign him to you. Oh no, wait a second, you have to do that yourself. Uh, so if you press escape, you have the mm -hmm. uh, um, assignment screen. Assign characters. Okay. Yeah, and then you right click on whoever is joining and then you can kick him. And then you can assign the lizard to yourself. Ricardo? I don't know who that is. Okay. Maybe it's a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry I kicked him. Now I've got the lizard. That's okay, that's okay. And you got the lizard? I got okay, the lizard, so where was this? I'm gonna dig. Just show a little bit what you can do with the environment. And if I had a shovel, kind of crafted or found. Oh, of course. <laughs> Did you expect anything? Yeah, else? <laughs> nothing good ever comes out of digging somewhere. So, what are you? Freshly buried corpse. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do some magic damage to him because, uh, uh, well, the thing is that um, zombies. They bleed uh, poison. Oh, yeah. So because you're actually near him, I'm gonna do some magic damage to him so that at least you'll be saying. I'm saying that. I don't know if it actually. Yeah, there you go. Ouch. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to. Oh, is there attack of opportunity if I try to step away from him? Uh, you should see that on the ground. If there's a red disc on the ground with an arrow on it, yeah. that should indicate ah, okay. that he can attack you. No, he can't, so I'm just going to step away a little bit. So what can I do? Ooh, I can breathe fire at him. Oh, perfect. Yeah, excellent. Nice. And so he died. <laughs> oh, someone's, uh, someone's asking if we're going to see the mighty Belagar in this game. People uh. are hoping for their favorite NPCs. Who knows? That's, those are story questions, so I can't answer those. Yeah. <laughs> <That's Ooh. laughs> I really can't, because, you know, the game is just out, so there's a lot of intrigue that's going on in the background. Oh, you're always putting out the fires that we create. Very, very conscientious. You don't want you to burn down the whole no, well, that's, that's the thing, right? So because we were playing it like really intensively in the last couple of days, it's like immediate reactions, like, you know, like... <laughs> always, always does the fire. Exactly, it does the fire, make sure all that stuff happens. I like how the, the Red Prince walks. I'm going to show that yeah, it's cool, right? a little bit off for the stream. Nice. Okay, so uh, can you uh, pick up uh, Sybil? Yeah. Come here, Sybil. So, you know, uh, yeah, of course, if you drag the portraits, they uh, connect, yeah. right? Okay, the lizard is connected to me right now. So I can see. And we have got a cat. 
and he's licking his bits. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, I guess we're going to... Go, uh, go to the north. Go to the north. Okay, come on. There's something to the north. Yeah. This uh, this first bit of the game it reminds me also of the first uh, act of Original Sin One with the coast. Where are, you going? Where are you going? Other way, other way. Other way. Where's oh. north? I kind of you know foolishly I thought north would be up, but you can turn the screen, so yeah, yeah. north <laughs> can be. <laughs> uh, I'm at the red prince. Yeah. So is he following you? I hope so. I've got him attached to my. Yes. Now okay. he should. Yeah, Come perfect. On. All right. Nice. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. There's a lot of secrets in this game, right? Like, for yeah. instance, if you walk towards the wall now, you see okay. that blue light coming out of the uh, cavern there? Walk towards the mountains. Okay. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a Yeah, walk cavern. through it. Walk through it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you disappeared <laughs> into it. And here we okay. are, in a little secret area. That it would have totally overlooked if it weren't for you. That's the thing, right? So we're trying to, like, uh, uh, you know, tell our players, uh, you know, trying to show that uh, every area has its secrets, you know, all the houses have their secrets. Uh, basically, it's really the uh, uh, the way that old school games is, like Ultima. Yeah. It's the same thing that Sven actually wanted everywhere. I mean, in Enhanced Edition, we already put it in a lot of places. And Divinity 2, every house had its own secrets. And uh, Flames of Vengeance as well. We're doing the same here as well. I mean, even if you go to the ledge here, where I'm standing, you can see that there's a little chest behind the waterfall. Okay. I just realized I can put barrels in my pockets. That's new. You can, yeah. yeah you can. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I can, if you I can have on my, my poison barrel with me everywhere I go. Yeah, we used to have a guy that picked up water and poison barrels. Of course, you can't carry too many of them, but it's yeah. always useful to have a bunch around for combat. Nice. So come over here, come over yeah, here. I'm, com I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry, I'm playing around with the environment. <laughs> no, that's perfect, that's perfectly normal. See that little waterfall there? Yeah. Ooh, there's a chest. I know, right? Yeah. And of course, we can't reach can't the chest. Okay. But if we had teleportation, we could have we teleported could the chest uh, oh, to okay. this side of the waterfall. But we don't. And we also oh. can't talk to pads already, which is, uh, which uh, I always would recommend to be the first skill to pick up because it just uh, opens up so many new opportunities in the game. Yeah, pad pal is really awesome. Okay, so let's go, let's go yeah. up. Yep. Where are you going? Up the secret line. Yep. Up. Here's a lot of stuff I haven't found the first time I was crawling around here. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I right? Just, <laughs> I just went straight for the for the settlement and got yeah. the little scene with the inquisitors, or no, with the with the church. Okay. So we can do all kinds of stuff here. Uh, did you already check out the uh, improved um, uh, crime system and everything on top of it? I mean, we can uh, go into sneak mode and steal all kinds of stuff from her tent. Yes. Um, and then she'll, uh, if she notices that something is gone from her tent, she'll ask to check in our backpacks. <laughs> yes, she immediately did. Oh, okay, okay, so you can talk to her, it's okay. Tell her to check your backpack, because I'm basically stealing everything, so as long as she doesn't know, mm -hmm. we're fine. I tr I'm trying to seduce her with the red prince. Oh, God. <laughs> and it worked. That's oh, my really? sexy lizard. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. I was getting ready like, oh, God, we're going to have a fight. <laughs> no, no, and then uh, actually it was the elf who stole her food, so... We're fine. We're, we're fine. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. okay. So this I'm just gonna sneak away. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Oh, no, she's asking me now. But Oops. everything's in my backpack. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk my way out of the situation. Um, um, okay. We don't even have money, so I can't even bribe her. So I'm, I'm going to tell her I'm transporting the pack for a friend, <laughs> and I promise to keep the content <laughs> safe. <laughs> okay. I failed. <laughs> yeah, I so. wouldn't have believed that either. Yeah, yeah, I know, you, right? should, you should have tried to seduce her too. But You're I guess she's into lizards. Yeah. yeah, she's probably into lizards, yeah. So, uh, hmm. Oh. Okay, get ready. 
Oops. We're gonna kill an innocent woman because... Because you had to steal her food. Yeah. I, uh, so, I, I'm sorry, are we going to kill her child too? No, we're not going to kill her child. So we're not encouraging any violence towards children. So every scene that actually has children in them has, uh, you know, extensive scripting to make sure that the kids don't end up in the fight. So okay. all of these uh, possibilities have manually been scripted. So she just bit. gave uh, Eunice the armor of frost and she ran off to safety. <laughs> and now we're going to kill yeah, yes. her mother figure. Okay. Mm, what am I gonna do? Oh, by the way, I found a wand. I got a wand for you if you want. Yeah, after the fight. Okay. Yeah, people are, um, are talking about uh, early access. It's uh, going to be out today, someone during the day, right? Early access. That is Steam. correct, yeah. And you can pick it up in early access for, I think, uh, was it for 45 euros or something around that? Uh, yeah, hold on. I've got the sheets with all the details here. Um, yeah, it's going to be 44.99. Okay, and how much gain do you get for that? How um, how much is already in this this basically in alpha or better gameplay version? How many? So hours? basically, this is um, this is the first act. Uh, of course, there's no way to tell how big the entire game is, so I don't know how big uh, in comparison to the rest of the game it is. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it's about really about ten to uh, fifteen hours of gameplay. I mean, the way I played it uh, the last couple of days, it's been like I get to the half of the island in about six, seven hours. And that's <laughs> like playing it uh, thoroughly, like, you know, multiplayer, just discussing everything, buying stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, chunk of gameplay, actually. I mean, you'll get the entire game uh, yeah. uh, once it's done as well. Of course. But and that's going to be um, 2017 is where you're, what you're aiming for is the second quarter of 2000. 2017? Yeah, that's that's about uh, okay. uh, what we're aiming for, indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I always say, especially if it's a it's a Kickstarter like this game, you kind of you, you need to have a little patience because you never know what's going to happen. Well, it's a big game, right? Um, you know, and just because like uh, all these intricacies of all these details and uh, secrets and stuff like that, there's a lot of time that goes into them to make it really nice. Okay, and um, one last time. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, if you hover over, you can see that she's got these. Uh, she's yeah. got the blue bar, right? Yeah, I think she also also had a gray bar. Yeah, that's correct. That's the physical armor, and uh, that's her magical armor. So now uh, I have to attack her uh, with a physical attack, which I can't because I have a staff that does magic damage. Um, yeah, if you electrocute her, we're, we're all going to get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. But maybe I can do something else. You think I can put her on fire without you guys getting damaged? Um, probably. Oh, yeah, I can use the campfire. Hold on. Yeah, let me try this. No, ah, damn it. Attack of opportunity. I always forget that. Sorry. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? You just spread a lot of blood around. Yeah, so? sorry about that. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so check this out. This is gonna be good. Uh, there you go. Bang! Yep. Oh god, no. I'm burning. That's no problem. <laughs> At least your two characters are safe. <laughs> I'll just walk out. You've, yeah. you, you've got a uh, healing potion. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, so you used the campfire to ignite the oil that came yep. up with the meteor strike. Yeah, because otherwise, if it was the other puddle, then you guys would have also caught fire. Yeah. Look, you see, that's perfect. You're doing physical damage. That's excellent. Yes, I'm just just hitting her until she's dead. She the poor dead. woman. <laughs> the poor woman. The only thing she was doing there was protecting that child, and we just murdered her without even talking to her. Yes. Uh, could we have done something else with her? We probably could have of traded. Course, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we could have traded. We could have done all kinds of cool stuff before I decided to raid everything. But good thing is, I have a wand for you. A wand. 
Yeah, it's actually not such a hot wand, but it's a wand. I'll give it to you. You can, you can use it if you want. Oh, and you wanted the potion? Well, you also have a potion. I, I, do, I do have a potion. No, I don't want it. I, I, I said you're safe. You've got a potion. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. Trick. Okay. A wand. Just pick up earth. Yes. You never know when you need a carrot. Yeah, there you go. Oh, by the way, there's also a bucket. Oh, can you wear buckets as helmets? I think you can. Great. I love that. When first time I played um, the first original Sin game, we were running around with buckets and pumpkins as helmets. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, pump. Uh, so if we continue here, we're going to have a little fight with, uh, with the turtles. This is going to be a tougher fight, so we're going to have to say... Oh, hold on! Let's go back, man. There's one thing we forgot. Okay. We, we have to lie down on the mattress. <laughs> the mattress. Course, You're going to <laughs> use the bed of the dead woman. <laughs> exactly, because it basically heals us, so it's really useful. Ah, I understand. Um, yeah, take you know, one. I was trying. <laughs> I thought, hmm, I'm going to loot everything, but you already did. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I did this. I was in the process of it. Oh, it looks comfy. I'm kind of using it the wrong way around, but you know, elves are weird. So yes, elves are weird. <laughs> I think you picked up a bedroll as well. Yes, I did. Yeah, the bedroll is used for mobile. Uh, uh, Mobile resting. Yeah, also the lizard. Could you switch the lizard and uh, have him sleep as well? Go to sleep. Aww. It's nice how Look he curls up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's so cute. Cuddling with his tail. That's cute. And they actually do that. Yeah. Come on, lizard. Wake up. Oh, we didn't even loot Eunice's body yet. Um, we didn't. What, is, what you got? Uh, there's anymore. a little pouch in there. She's got a purple little pouch. Hold on, I'll give you her pouch. Ooh, there's 30 gold coins in there. Ah, good, good. Nice. They're marked as stolen. Gold. Yeah, well, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> okay. So let's let's um, go over to the turtles. You said and yeah. probably die while fighting them. And this I think that we've got going to have to f uh, stop the the stream. I'm very sorry, but um, okay. people are going to marry and I thought I don't think they're going to be happy if I say no, I had to, f had to play Original Sin all day. Come on, I was playing Original Sin, guys. You know this. <laughs> uh, or, or, or they're going to say totally understand, totally understand. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a totally four-player really game, man. It's a four-player game. You can always invite them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've, I've directly run into the turtles. Yeah, I, I noticed. <laughs> They around here. Yes, they look look a little bit unhealthy with the blue glow, but you know. Um. Yeah, they've been affected by the source, right? So uh, the source that's across this island basically turns uh, good creatures into these uh, vile animals. And I also walked into the fire because I'm stupid. Happens. Don't worry. Don't be so hard. I I died so often during the first game for different very stupid reasons, but I had fun <laughs> doing it. Yeah, that's a cool thing, right? If you don't mind, it's fine. Yeah, get out of the oil. Oil is not good. Okay. Excellent. Oh, Turtle XP. nice. English yeah. <laughs> it's a reptile connection you got there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm the prince. Ooh. Of course, these are level 2 turtles, and we're only level 1. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, let's Killer this turtles. Quick. Let's put this on fire. And, well, that's the tricky thing, right? Anytime I want to do damage to him... Uh, oh, that's good, see? So, the turtle doesn't have any magic armor. Mm -hmm. So, if I attack him with magic damage, he should die pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, I can see you. Smack. Oh, there Smack. You. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the burning turtle. Oh, oh, I was. Uh, it was a good idea to get out of the oil because now I'm not burning, but the turtles are. Exactly, exactly, because the uh, other oil surface. Take that and. Oh, nice. That. Yes. That's okay. next turtle. Perfect. Yeah. Well, wasn't. That oh, was yeah, yeah, here comes fantastic. comes uh, the. The tainted blood again. Okay, just wait. Wait one Ooh. second. Get out of the uh, water. And then we should be fine. 
And I'm going to pick up a water barrel because maybe I'm just going to case. need it. Yeah, just you in never case. know. Yeah. Okay. I can I can already say I totally love it because it's got the same thing, same quirky ideas concerning the gameplay that the first one yeah. had. I love that I can. Well, that's I the thing, right? And now you can even play it with more people, so yeah. it's going to be even Four crazier. People. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've also re read that the backstory of your character that's going to have a lot of um, influence on what thing things happen because you can also play the girl Losa with a demon in her mind, and then she. <laughs> Exactly. Just suddenly decides to do something that you didn't want to do as a player. Yeah, it's really freaky. I'm I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, I hope this gave you a pretty good idea of uh, you know what yeah. there is in the what game and what you can do. Yes, thank you very much for taking the time out of your probably very busy schedule right now. Yeah, um, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you to the guys in the stream and yes. Um, I, I guess we're going to do a lot more about Divinity Original Sin 2 in the future and see you then. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Let us know. Take care, Amir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.